Hi, so I'm making this video for uh, using Jessica's desk, but um, I'm kind of kind of save it for everybody because I think we're all going to run into the same stuff when we're modeling things from scratch. So um, I played around with her wall. If you were kind of watching in class, this is her original one where it was black and white. Um, I was able to up oh, there's Esther's hexagon because I was playing with that too. Um, oops, I'm jumping around. Sorry. I was able to in her model. What I did is I used the paint command and that actually fit, worked just fine. So um, I've already saved mine. Here's mine here. Um, it automatically filled in some things. Others I had to literally click paint by paint. But I think that's what's going to work for us best when we build things from scratch in our model. So don't worry about the parameters or anything like that. Just paint the surfaces in. Um, the way you want to do that, though, first is load in the materials from your Revit library. So I'm using, um, like I said, standard ones are already in Revit. So I first have to make a default one up here. So I'm going to just say duplicate. I'm going to call this um, concrete uh, finish just so we have that. I'm not like overriding anything important. If I go down here to the library, I'm going to type in concrete, see what comes up. And we'll kind of use, so there's a couple, there's going to be several different options. These first couple ones are more like building kind of construction ones, appearance library. That's what you want. Those are the ones where it's going to give us a material finish. So um, let's see this one polished. That might be good for a desk. So I'm going to click this blue arrow here to the right. That's going to what it did is it made this concrete finish link to this file should all have it in the same location. So I'm going to say apply and OK. So now I have that as material loaded into this family. Then I'm going to go over to modify. I'm going to get the little paint thing and I'm going to pick my concrete and then I'm literally just going to click on it. Now we don't have it in realistic yet. It might be hard to see. It's making it black. Let's see. Oh God, that's really bright. This is the weird thing that's happening where we're getting some really weird lighting effects. But when I went and brought it into my model, oh, see when I switched it around, um, it looks fine. It, it worked just fine. And I played around with it in Enscape. So um, I'm see this now, I just painted that concrete, but it's making it all black for some reason. Um, again, it's the weird lighting. I'll play with that too. And we'll sort of try to uh, troubleshoot that. Um, I'm gonna assume her whole desk surface here is concrete too. Um, and like I said, if we swivel it around, it kind of will, kind of revert back to the colors we want. Um, right now, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and load into my project. Um, I'm also going to save it before I leave here, save as. So it's a family. This is uh, Jess's original file here, but I'm just going to add my initials in the back just so if she doesn't like my concrete, she can change it later. So we're going to load into project right here. Um, I'm putting it just right in my floor plan. So I'll click OK. And at some point, we're going to see it come up. It's right here in this office, but we might want to put it in this view instead. Let's see what it's going to do. We'll pause because it's the blue ball again. All right, so we're back in here. I went to my level one right here, so we can see it on the floor plan. It's already kind of loaded and ready to come in. It's got reception desk there. I'm going to stick it here. And then we'll also do a view so you can see what it's looking like. And I can show you that it's actually rendering pretty nicely in Enscape too. Actually, you know, while I'm here, we'll put in her wall too, so we can see how that works. Um, architecture component, place component. Um, forget what I called it. I think it's divider wall. Oh, we're gonna have to pause again. Hold on. Okay, so what I did is here's Jessica's divider wall, which I didn't record doing, but basically I just painted in the wood texture on the parts that were like her wooden slats. And then this black is a um, material from Revit that is metal painted black. This is the concrete one I just showed you. So right now in the realistic um, version right down here with the little, little blue the second box in the bottom one here realistic it's showing up just fine and then if we go over to i ran a rendering in enscape um and it's reading the wood and the concrete too so let's just do the paint technique when we model something from scratch because it's a heck of a lot easier so if you need any help with your models just let me know and i can help you tweak them behind the scenes or i can demo it like when we work together on this too Bye. <laughs>